know, both diseases uh, have uh, in common the inflammation and the demyelination. But the uh, demyelination in, um, in the MOC antibody associated disease develops in the depths of the white matter and uh, by fusion of very small perivenous demyelinating lesions and then they form large plaques. Whereas in multiple sclerosis you have uh, the typical lesions in the periventricular region and in the cortex uh, related to, men to meningeal inflammation and they grow by radial expansion so they just get, get larger and larger. And there is a very important uh, difference here is that uh, the mock antibody associated inflammatory lesions are always fresh lesions associated with relapses while in the multiple sclerosis uh, situation the le many of these lesions then turn into chronic active lesions which gradually expand and are then responsible also for the progression of the disease which is absent in the mock antibody associated disease. It seems to be uh, a different mechanisms on the inflammatory level so in MS it's uh, driven by B lymphocytes and by CD8 positive, so a specific T cell subset of what was originally was called cytotoxic T cells. Whereas in the uh, MOC antibody disease, it's driven by the antibodies themselves and by CD4, so MHC class 2 restricted T cells, and they seem to make the difference.